a drop to breathe. Jai Hind everyone, I am Rishan Jaiswal, a student of Sunbeam School Lehtar. Well, picture this, Ram's coming back to Ayodhya for after 14 years of exile. Instead of bursting fireworks or trashing the entire place, people just lit a bunch of tiny clay lamps. Simple, right? No pollution, no complaints, and everyone still got the message. Fast forward to now, and we are over here launching rockets and burning enough crackers to scare off half the wildlife. Alright, so we are in the present, and Deepavali has turned into this massive spectacle where we seem to think that the louder is the better. It's like people believe Ram won't find his way back to Ayodhya unless we light up the entire sky with fireworks. Okay, let's face it. Half of us can't even see the stars by the end of the night because of all the smoke hanging in the air. And, and, and let's not even get started on the noise. Every dog in the neighborhoods uh, having a meltdown while we are setting off bombs for no apparent reason. If this is our idea of celebrating light over darkness, I think we've lost the plot somewhere. We've got this weird idea that the more we pollute, the more festive it feels. But the last time I checked, uh, throwing toxins into the air wasn't on anyone's list of ancient Hindu traditions. Right? Seriously. Can you imagine Ram's reaction if he showed up today? Um, guys, I'm all for celebration, but can we not poison the air for Lakshman and Sita? Poor Sita would probably be looking for a gas mask. And what's the deal with these over-the-top decorations? I mean, stringing up for a few fairy lights is one thing, but the electricity consumption on the Pavdi must be enough to power the entire city of Ayodhya for a decade or two. Yet, here we are, covering every square inch with flashing LEDs like it's some kind of competition. Meanwhile, back in the day, they used little clay lamps that didn't require a full-blown power plant to keep running. Let's not forget the waste either. You ever look around the day after the Bavli? It's like a battlefield. Plastic wrappers, burnt-out fireworks, and half scorched strangolis if you will. It's the kind of mess that would make Hanuman face palm every fun. Yet somehow we think that it's all part of the fun. So maybe we need, we need to chill out a little. Stick to diyas that don't leave a trail of toxic smoke. Make rangolis with actual flowers instead of synthetic powders. And, and save our eardrums from, from the next round of crackers. It's like we are trying so hard to celebrate that we are forgetting what we are celebrating. Light, peace, and a little bit of self-reflection. We can totally make Deepavli feel like Deepavli without turning it into a mini-apocalypse. Thank you, Anjay.